What is up friends, welcome back for another movie. Today I will be checking out The Big Lebowski. This is the first Coen Brothers movie that I'll be watching for the first time on the channel. Obviously way back when I re-watched No Country for Old Men, which is one of my favorites. But this is one that I haven't seen from them and so I can't wait to get into it because I've heard nothing but great things about it. And I know that the movie stars John Goodman and Jeff Bridges and I believe it also has Steve Buscemi but I could be way off on that I'm just going off what I feel like I've seen him in as far as just small snippets and clips of the movie I've seen over the years and I know that I think it's Jeff Bridges character is called the dude I don't know if that's just his nickname or if that's just his only name but I feel like that is the only thing I know about the characters of this movie and the plot really I don't really know what it's about or what a Lebowski is I don't know if that's a name of one of the characters or what, but I've never heard that word outside of this movie. And so looking forward to getting into it because the Coen brothers always seem to deliver. And so hopefully you all enjoy watching along with me for it. If you do, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel grow. And of course, you can check out the full length reaction on my Patreon link for that in the description below. Of course, you'll need your own copy of the film to watch along with me there. But without further ado, let's hop into The Big Lebowski. Now, I also should mention... I have heard this is a comedy or at least primarily a comedy movie at least that's what I remember hearing but also with it being the Coen brothers I know it's probably not just going to be any ordinary comedy way out west there was this fella that I want to tell you about a fella by the name of Jeff Lebowski <laughs> okay so it is a character name I like it this Lebowski he called himself the dude that's a name no one would self apply where I come from I don't know, not too bad in my book. He's got all sorts of fun names, Dude Lebowski. Sometimes there's a man, and I'm talking about the dude here. Sometimes there's a man, well, uh, he's the man for his time and place. I love his style, dude. Just the most relaxed looking guy ever. If anyone was named the dude, this is how I would picture him. Sometimes there's a man. I lost my train of thought here, but uh, hell. I done introduced him enough. <laughs> Man, great way to start off the film. Just like he said in the narration, I feel like they've painted a pretty good picture of his character. Oh gosh, dude, for a second I thought these were like some friends. You want that money, Lebowski? Bunny says you're good for it. Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the money, Lebowski? <laughs> Gosh, dude, what an intense way to start after the super calm shots before. No, don't do that. You got the wrong guy. I'm the dude, man. Your wife is Bunny. Do you see a wedding ring on my finger? Oh, maybe they did get the wrong guy. That'd be pretty awful. Also, I feel like I have heard that line before. Where's the money, Lebowski? Just brought back some memories. Isn't this guy supposed to be a millionaire? He looks like a loser hey at least i'm housebroken <laughs> i don't know maybe he is the guy and he's just living a super simple life oh i know who that is but i just need to see his face to remind me Yo, Philip Seymour Hoffman's in this i had no idea he's one of my favorite actors Steve Buscemi looking extra like Pennywise right there, even though he didn't even play that character. He peed on my rug. He peed on the dude's rug. Donnie, you're out of your element. Dude, the Chinaman is not the issue here. The other Jeffrey Lebowski, the millionaire. Oh, okay. So it is somebody else. They did mistake him. I can't imagine he's any better than the dude, though. He seems so chill. That rug really tied the room together, did it not? This guy peed on it. Donnie, please. <laughs> Poor Donnie always getting shut down whenever he says something. That is the key to the city of Pasadena, which Mr. Lebowski received two years ago. That's the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce Business Achiever Award. <laughs> <laughs> he seems very prim and proper in this movie, but the man can play any role there is, so I feel like he's gonna do a great job. This rug I have, it really tied the room together. They were looking for you, these two guys. Did I urinate on your rug? Did you personally come and pee on my rug? Hello! 
Do you speak English, sir? Oh my gosh, this guy is a handful. Definitely matches the persona that I would imagine they would have been looking for. I don't think he's getting his money. Are you employed, Mr. Lebowski? Wait, wait, let me let me explain something to you. I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. <laughs> Way better name if you ask me. I love the scene though because he's dressed so casual, slouching back. Mr. Lebowski is all dressed up. Do you hear me, Lebowski? The... How was your meeting, Mr. Lebowski? The old man told me to take any rug in the house. Well, enjoy. <laughs> Nice, I love it. Just taking matters into his own hands. I have a feeling he's not even gonna notice if it's gone. Blow on them. You want me to blow on your uh, toes? <laughs> Who directed this actually? Was it Tarantino in secret? Is this his wife that we've heard so much about? Are you sure he won't mind? Who really doesn't care about anything? He's a nihilist. Oh, that must be exhausting. Ah, that's Peter Stormare. I knew I knew who he was, but now I have a face to the name. You're bunny. I'll suck your for a thousand dollars. His laugh, man, that cracked me up. She definitely just says what's on her mind. You were over the line, that's a foul. Market zero, next frame. Bull Walter. Market eight, dude. Smokey, this is not nom, this is bowling. There are rules. Eight. What, man, as if there were no rules there. I love the dialogue. Give me the marker, dude. I'm marking an eight. Smoking, my friend. You're entering a world of pain, Walter. You mark that frame an eight, you're entering a world of pain. I'm not. A world of pain. <laughs> oh, gosh, he just raised the stakes big time. Am I the only one around here who gives a about the rules? Mark at zero. Put the piece away. Mark at zero. Oh. My dude, Walter is just about as crazy as the other Walter we've seen. This man takes bowling way too seriously. Yeah, waving the f gun around? Calmer than you are. Will you just take it easy? Calmer than you are. <laughs> John Goodman's so great. Definitely another fantastic actor. Mr. Lebowski, Brand at, uh, well, at Mr. Lebowski's office. Please call us as soon as it's convenient. What do they want now? Did he finally find out about the missing rug? I don't think the dude really wants to talk to him anymore. Mr. Lebowski. This man lives the most extravagant life. My goodness, it's like you're entering a villain's lair. I've accomplished more than most men without the use of my legs. What makes a man? Mr. Lebowski. Dude. Huh? <laughs> Always correcting him on what to call him. Jeff Bridges also gotta shout him out for his acting so far. Feels like he's really embodying that character. I received this fax this morning. It is a ransom note written by men who are unable to achieve on a level field of Can play. This took quite a different direction than I was anticipating. Oh, and I was just about to say this reminds me of the style of the note in Fargo season one, but then I'm like, of course it does because the Coens were involved in that. He is prepared to make a generous offer to you to act as courier once we get instructions for the money. Culprits might be the very people who soiled your rug. I don't know. I feel like they're just using him as a pawn in case things get dicey. Sounds like the most exciting thing he'll have been able to do in a while though. Oh, don't tell me they have to go up against this dude. He looks the most official I've ever seen anyone bowl. <laughs> what is going on with this character? First he licks the ball, then of course his name is Jesus, the savior of modern bowling, I'm sure. He gave uh, the beeper, told him uh, if it was during league play. What's starting league play? Life uh, does not stop and start you know, at your convenience, you I, miserable uh... piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. He's so ruthless to him. He's got endless comebacks. I see you roll your way into the semis. We're gonna f you up. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh, 
your opinion, man. Oh, that's right. I totally have seen that a bunch as well. I forgot that the meme has his character in this look. I should have known. Such a great line. Bro, that transition was unbelievable. How did they do that? <laughs> Some trippy stuff right now. What is going on? I assume he just passed out after that punch and this is just going on in his mind in the meantime. Why did they come back for him though? What happened to your jaw? Oh, nothing. Here's the money. Follow whatever instructions they give. All right. Her life is in your hands. Me? Don't say. Mr. Le <laughs> yeah, don't need to put any more pressure on him than already is there. I'm so afraid this is going to go horribly wrong. I mean, if we're basing anything off. Where the f are you going, man? Take the ringer. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> no shot. He's showing up to it like this. He is absolutely ready for a shootout dressed like that. They messed with the wrong group. What the hell is this? My dirty undies, dude. The ringer cannot look empty. Why should we settle for 20 grand when we can keep the entire million? Am I wrong? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't want to play this like that. They're going to get way in over their heads. You haven't told me how we're going to get her back. Where is she? That's the simple part, dude. We make the handoff. I grab one of them, beat it out of them. Huh? That's a great plan. <laughs> no, that's an awful plan. This dude just wants to relive his glory days, I think. I don't doubt his capability, but you're gonna get shot real quick. Hey, man! The bridge. Hey, Walter! Hey, Walter! Hey, Walter! Here goes the ring! Oh no, dude. Well, it's too late to turn back now. Don't tell me they're gonna have to be on the run from here on out. I love that the music cut off right when he crashed. We have it! We have it! Dude, let's go bold. <laughs> I can't believe that's his first priority after that. They're going to find out soon enough that he just gave him a bag of underwear and they're not going to be happy. They're going to kill that poor woman, man. The poor woman, that poor slut kidnapped herself. Come on, dude. You said so yourself. Man, I said I thought she kidnapped herself. Oh, gosh, dude. <laughs> He's got his mind made up already. And I feel like if they've got the money, they're not gonna just kill her straight up. Tell so them we made the drop and everything went, you know. Oh yeah, how'd it go? Well, all right, dude's car got a little dinged up. They didn't get the money. They're gonna kill that poor woman. <laughs> He is not taking this seriously at all. He better hope his opinion of the situation's right, otherwise they're gonna have blood on their hands. Who's sitting on a million dollars, am I wrong? Walter. Who's got a million dollars sitting in the trunk of our car? Say, dude, where is your car? Oh gosh, I love that they haven't cut away to show us yet. That's messed up. They knew where to find him. I also was such a huge fan of that camera shot. The fact that they tracked him from inside the bowling alley to outside. Very impressive. Phone's ringing, dude. Thank you, Donnie. Such a great guy. I love the editing of this movie as well. The way they go from scene to scene. And was there anything of value in the car? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, a tape deck, some Credence tapes, and there was... Uh... <laughs> that cop looks like the budget version of Conan O'Brien. I have a feeling they're not going to find the car. Mr. Lebowski, I'd like to see you. My name is Maud Lebowski. I'm the woman who took your rug. Guess we can close the file on that one. Nice, man. Perfect timing. A new Lebowski's in the picture. Interesting. I do remember there being a woman standing over him when he got punched. I know that you acted as courier. Let me tell you something. The whole thing stinks to high heaven. But let me explain something about the rug. Wait, does that line mean that she wasn't a part of it? I was thinking that she was involved with the people who wanted the money. I don't see what this has to do with... you have any Kahlua? Take a look at this, sir. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, he's a nihilist. 
Ah, Bunny's name coming back up. I assume that's the same Bunny that we met before. What exactly are we gonna see here? She has been banging Jackie Treehorn. He told me about this abduction. It is preposterous. This compulsive fornicator is taking my father for the proverbial ride. She seems to have figured it all out. I mean, it makes sense when you lay it out like that. I'm proposing that you try to recover the money from the people you delivered it to. I will compensate you to the tune of 10% of the recovered sum. Oh shoot, he's already made a profit of 80k from his previous arrangement. Problem is, he doesn't have the money anymore. I am sorry about that crack on the jaw. Here's the name and number of a doctor who will look at it for you. He's a good man and thorough. Please see him, Jeffrey. He's a good man and thorough. <laughs> Strange, just repeating herself like that. Definitely a lot off about her. I wonder if she's telling the truth though. Really down the dumps. Lost a little money. Hey, you know what? Forget about it, huh? Eh? Forget about it. Yeah. Good man. <laughs> This is such a relaxed conversation. It's impressive how relaxed the dude can actually look on screen. He's reaching new levels of leisure. In the limo, you son of a hey, no hey. Start talking. We've been frantically trying to reach you, dude. Where is my goddamn money, you bum? <laughs> I love that he's caught between all of this. Just the most regular dude in a very irregular plot. She kidnapped herself. Well, sure, man. Look at it. You know, a young trophy wife in the parlance of our times. I can't believe he's going with this theory from Walter. I was thinking it was a little bit ridiculous, but I could see it happening. Give him the envelope. Since you have stolen my money, I have no choice but to tell these bums to recover their money from you. I love the camera work right here, man. Just slowly pushing in. Don't tell me there's going to be like a finger in that. I will not abide another toe. How is he laughing about this? Walter has such an interesting view on things. It had the same nail polish, so I would assume it's her toe. Get some nail polish, apply it to someone else's toe. Someone else? Where the are they gonna get- You want get a toe? I can get you a toe. There are ways, dude. You don't want to know about it, believe me. <laughs> Dude, I love Walter. He's such a great character. He'd be a lot to handle, but I'd love to just hang out with him. Oh my gosh, dude. Of course they find him while he's in the bath. Most vulnerable. Oh, nice marmot. Oh my god. Gosh, these guys look like they mean business. He's obviously on the right track, though. This dude is involved. Tomorrow, we come back and we cut off your Johnson. Excuse me? I said we cut off your Johnson! Just think about that, Lebowski. <laughs> Oh gosh, man. Nothing would strike more fear in you than that threat. They were intimidating, but at the same time, they were funny. Oh, man. Must have been a joyride situation. They abandoned the vehicle once they hit the retaining wall. Briefcase, man, it's not here! Sorry. Oh, that's so unfortunate, dude. Who the heck has the money now? It feels strange saying dude now because I associate it with this character. No one's going to cut your dick off. Thank you, Walter. Not if I have anything to say about it. Thank you, Walter. That makes me feel very secure. Dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know, maybe Walter isn't the worst person to have on your side, but I'd be surprised if he could take on everyone. You cannot drag this negative energy into the tournament. The tournament. The tournament? Okay, dude, I can see you don't want to be cheered up here. <laughs> My gosh, dude, this is one of my favorite performances I've seen from John Goodman. He's cracking me up. I love how casual of a group the main characters are. It just makes the story so much better. You got a good sarsaparilla. Sioux City sarsaparilla? Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, dude, now he finally comes into the picture. And with the cinematography and the location, this is definitely a reference to the scene in season three of Fargo, is it not? Wiser fellow than myself once said, sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes the bar eats you. I like your style, dude. I dig your style too, man. <laughs> This is a great moment right here. They both do have fantastic style. You have to use so many cuss words. What the f are you talking about? Okay, dude. 
Have it your way. Take her easy, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. That'd be such a strange interaction. I feel like after having the context of the scene in Fargo, I understand a little bit more maybe what he represents here. Sam Elliott's character, that is. So, you're Lebowski. Yeah. Marty's told me all about you. She'll be back in a minute, sit down. Whoa, dude, is that? What's his first name? Last name Thulis, right? I didn't recognize him without his hair. David Thulis, that's his name, right? Your mother really was kidnapped after all. Please don't call her my mother. I got pretty definitive evidence. From who? Uli. Her co-star in the beaver picture? You mean vagina? <laughs> She's not buying it one bit. I don't think the dude is seeing the bigger picture here. You still have that doctor's number? <laughs> not even bruised anymore. Oh, please, Jeffrey. I don't want to be responsible for any delayed after effects. See me, Sandro. See? After effects. See? <laughs> I'm not used to after effects for just punches. The people here are so strange, man. Gosh, as if that car hasn't been through enough already, poor dude. This man is having a rough go of things lately. Oh, what luck. Are you serious? He just happens to find their name on there. Now he has a lead. He lives in North Hollywood on Radford near the In-N-Out Burger. Well, the In-N-Out Burger's on Camrose. Near the In-N-Out Burger. Those are good burgers, Walter. Shut the up, <laughs> Every time I lose it when he tells him to shut up. I gotta agree with Donnie though, in and out is delicious. Arthur Digby Sellers wrote 156 episodes, dude. Bulk of the series. Oh. And yet his son is a dunce. Hmm. <laughs> dude, John Goodman is absolutely stealing the show every time he's in a scene, which is impressive because all the other actors and actresses are doing a great job too. Yes? Pilar, my name is Walter Sobchak. This is my associate, Jeffrey Lebowski. Came to talk about little Larry. May we come in? Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Man's good at situations like this. Just got immediately in there, no questions asked. Is this your homework, Larry? Is this your homework, Larry? Look, man. Do, it... please. Is this your homework, Larry? <laughs> He just keeps asking the same question. I don't think he's like Mustafa in Austin Powers where you just have to ask him three times. Have you ever heard of Vietnam? Oh, You're entering a world Walter. of pain, son. We know that this is your homework. We know that you stole a car. <laughs> there we get the world of pain line again. I don't want to see this man angry. I don't think Larry does either. It's time for plan B. You might want to watch out that front window, Larry. Son, this is what happens when you f a stranger in the ass. <laughs> My guy is absolutely heated right now. What is he gonna do? He's not gonna bust up his car, is he? It's not gonna solve anything. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens? This is what happens when you stranger in the ass, Larry. Oh my gosh, Walter always taking it to a freaking level 11. He was just hoping that Larry didn't comply, I feel like. Man, stop oh, it! Hey, man. I just bought the Last week. I just bought the car last week. Come on, man. I'll kill you. Car, man. Oh my gosh, of course. It wasn't even Larry's car. What the heck happened? This could not have gone worse. Dude, and we just go to them driving wind in their hair. And I love that they've got in and out now too. <laughs> so great. The flow and pace of this movie is absolutely brilliant. Jackie Treehorn knows which Lebowski you are, Lebowski. Jackie Treehorn wants to see the deadbeat Lebowski. You're not dealing with morons here. <gasps> oh gosh, dude. This man can't have a single day of peace. I can see you're anxious for me to get to the point. Where's Bunny? Well, I thought you might know that, man. She only ran off. 
to get away from that rather sizable debt to me. She didn't run off. I feel like the dude is slightly less relaxed than normal. I feel like he's got a little bit of antagonism in him now. What's in it for the dude? 10% fantasy. fee. Done, Jackie. Your money is being held by a kid named Larry Sellers. He lives in North Hollywood on Radford. Uh so he's giving him a 10% cut as well as that separate from the 10% he was already offered. By the end of this, he's just gonna get all the money. If you could just uh, write me a check for my 10% of half a million, I'll go out and mingle. Oh gosh, dude, he drugged him, didn't he? Dang it, of course. The dude just keeps getting into worse and worse situations. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has got to be another one of his dream sequences, right? He certainly has a wild imagination. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. These dream sequences or passed out sequences, whatever they are, are certainly random and out there, but they definitely provide some of the best visuals. <laughs> of course, he's floating down here under their legs. What next? This is one of the strangest scenes I've ever seen, but I love it. Could you change the channel? I had a rough night and I hate the eagles, man. <laughs> he can't catch a break. What is happening? I feel like people are getting more aggressive the further along we get. Maybe that's intentional. Wait, what the heck? She is free. He was right all along. Oh man, nice way of showing us she does have all her toes. So Walter really was right about everything. Should never have doubted him. What do you do for the recreation? Oh, the usual. Bowl drive around the occasional acid flashback <laughs> dude i don't even know what's going on right now but at least we've got a bit of a calm scene after what we just went through i keep telling you it's the foundation's money father doesn't have any the wealth was all mothers no. did let him run one of the companies briefly but he didn't do very well at it interesting the plot thickens learn something new about him so did he orchestrate the plan somehow oh man my thinking about this case has become very uptight yeah your father I think I'm on the same page as the dude right now. Is he thinking what I'm thinking? That the father orchestrated the kidnapping in order to get money from his own foundation? Why doesn't he give a shit about his million bucks? The million bucks was never in the briefcase. The briefcase was empty, man. Asshole was hoping that they would kill her. What, dude? This is wild. So their freaking audible plan didn't even matter. That's what was gonna happen anyway. It's a beautiful tradition for Moses to Sandy Koufax. You're goddamn right I'm living in the past. I... Jesus, what the hell happened? <laughs> Nice, dude. That was a great play on words. But also, that was Bunny's car that she was driving. So don't tell me she actually got kidnapped for real. She just picked up and left. Never bothered to tell us. Silas knew where she was. Jesus, dude, she never even kidnapped herself. Who is this gentleman, dude? I'm a f veteran. <laughs> He was ready to throw hands immediately. Well, at least we've solved one mystery. You thought that Bunny had been kidnapped and you were glad, man. You could use it as an excuse to make some money disappear. You just met me, you human paraquat. Oh, here we go. Finally seeing the dude strike back. We've never seen him call anybody any name. Out of this house now, you bums. I've seen a lot of spinals, dude, and this guy's a fake. Stay away from me, mister. This guy walks. What? Now he's getting a little psychic, man. Some of his things I could see, but this is a pretty bold call. Come on, man. Help me put him back in his chair. <laughs> Dude, I had a feeling that that call was wrong right there, but I love that he just splats on the ground. Oh, 
Is that shot supposed to be significant? Is there still something else that's gonna happen by the end of this? One pin metaphorically still needs to fall. I finally did it. They killed my car. We want the money, Lavotsky. Oh my gosh, of course these guys are still coming for him. It's a miracle his car had lasted that long. Without a hostage, there is no ransom. That's what ransom is. His girlfriend gave up her toll. It's not fair. <laughs> Now they're just throwing a tantrum about it. I love this showdown. Walter's finally getting his chance to shine, though. <laughs> okay, Walter with the first strike. Let's go. He's been waiting for this. Any semite? <laughs> What a fantastic moment. I can't believe he just straight bit off his ear. Absolutely wild. We got a man down, dude. Oh, God, they shot him, man. That shot, no, dude. They shot Donnie? There weren't any shots fired. It's a heart attack. Oh, no, I don't want to see Donnie go down. I thought they handled him pretty good outside of that. It's an unfortunate ending to that moment. I understand you're taking away the remains. Yeah. We have the urn. I assume this is credit card. Yikes, man. Donnie actually did die. That's so upsetting. And what a way to go of all things, just a heart attack like that. We must, of course, transmit the remains to you. This is $180. Just because we're bereaved doesn't make us sad, sir. Is there a Ralph's around here? <laughs> My gosh, she's such a great character in this. If they had to do a bunch of takes for scenes like that, I feel like John Goodman would have been exhausted being at that level constantly. Donnie was a good bowler and a good man. He was one of us. He was a man who loved the outdoors and bowling. <laughs> He keeps bringing up bowling. He was a man of few interests, but definitely passionate about one thing. And this is very nice coming from Walter. And so, Theodore Donald Karabatsos, in accordance with what we think. <laughs> I love that it's just a freaking Folgers tin. That's definitely not the most extravagant thing. The Pacific Ocean, which you love so well. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Dude, I love that line right there. I don't know if this is the movie where that line originates because I've definitely heard it a bunch elsewhere. Come on, dude. Hey, man. Let's go bowling. <laughs> nice. Bowling is definitely the avenue for forgetting about all their problems. I like that moment right there. That was a good moment between the two of them. Sorry to hear about Donnie. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes, uh, you know. Hey, man. <laughs> he's back once again, finally. And I love that he's talking about the same phrase that he used on him before. Take care, man. Gotta get back. Take it easy, dude. Oh, yeah. I know that you will. Yeah, well, the dude the binds. <laughs> That's a great line right there. I love that. Sam Elliott always turning up in his time of need. I take comfort in that. It's good knowing he's out there taking her easy for all us sinners. I sure hope he makes the finals. Well, that about does her. <laughs> oh, man, these are great lines right here. Just speaking directly to the audience. I'm rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. Catch you later on down the trail. Say, friend, you got any more of that good sarsaparilla? <laughs> so great. What a perfect way to end this movie because it was such an interesting style with such relaxed characters that I feel like such a relaxed moment at the end recapping everything is the only right way to end it. I also love that they did that last shot in one take as well from the dude walking up to the table to introducing Sam Elliott in the shot to that last monologue. I'm pretty sure that all was just one take which is very impressive. That was a great movie though. Such a unique experience experience. I love the plot for one. It was a very interesting story and the fact that 
the most normal regular guys were all pulled into the middle of it just made it so much better because all the scenes were so much more hilarious than if it was like somebody trained or like a regular secret agent or something like that but i like how a lot of the movie while advancing the plot a lot felt more focused on the characters and whether it was just hanging out with them for a moment or just seeing them interact with these different people very interesting characters i think john goodman may have been my favorite as walter though because every freaking line from him either cracked me up or was just super entertaining to watch and this was a really funny movie as well like i mentioned at the beginning I had heard that it was a comedy, but I didn't know exactly what sort of style of comedy to expect. But out of all the Coen Brothers films that I've seen so far, I think this one is probably the funniest. Can't wait to get to more of the Coen Brothers films though. I've seen a number of their stuff, but there's definitely a couple I still want to see from them. Well, The Big Lebowski was a big surprise for me. I expected to enjoy it coming into the film just because it is a Coen Brothers film and I've loved some of their other work, but also because so many people were recommending it and saying great things about it, but I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. I had such a great time with it and I felt like I was glued to the screen the entire time. Definitely felt maybe a bit longer than two hours but that's not a bad thing in my opinion because I could have hung out with these characters for a lot longer than the runtime that we got and I really don't feel like there was much downtime in this movie once it got going even in some of the calmer moments I feel like Jeff Bridges as the dude did such a great job just embodying that character that it was fun just watching him hang out and relax and just be his lazy self and it's one level just to kind Kinda look relaxed or act a little bit lazy for a couple scenes but I feel like he reached another level with that character and just having the laziness and the relaxation just be an entire character trait and really jump off the screen towards the audience and evoke this certain emotion while watching it which I was pretty impressed by because usually you would think someone playing the laziest guy around at least I feel like that's what they called him in the beginning narration you would think that that would be either boring to watch or it wouldn't be very impressive of acting wise but I think he did a great job with it but definitely don't want to overlook the rest of the cast because they all did a great job even Steve Buscemi who didn't speak a whole lot as Donnie I feel like fit that role pretty well but kind of in typical Coen Brothers fashion I guess you could say at least comparing it to No Country which I obviously rewatched for the channel recently I feel like their story structure and the way the movie moves is more just to give you like an experience or to bring up these certain ideas within you instead of just giving you a full satisfying ending because obviously at the end of this movie the dude just goes back to bowling after Donnie dies and we don't even see how his championship game went or anything like that the narrator just says I hope he wins and so it's a very interesting story style but I feel like it really works and so I really hope you all enjoyed watching along with me for this one if you did definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow and of course you check out the full length reaction on my patreon link for that in the description below and until the next movie reaction look forward to seeing you all later peace